are going to talk a little bit about temperate carnivorous plants. I have brought mine in from outside. They had about a three month dormancy period where they got some frost and some snow and went dormant from about November to January, February-ish. Um, since being back in the greenhouse, they started to come out of dormancy. And so I just wanted to show you my Saracenias, my Cobra Lilies like this one, some temperate sundews, and show you how they're coming along for just coming out of dormancy. All right, so we have our cobra lilies up front here. Um, these guys, they're probably my favorite temperate carnivorous plants, so they do get the most attention. Um, this one was the one I just had um, up for you. It's about five years old. I have it in a white container. I have all of them in white containers, actually just because they like cool roots. In the summertime these plants they go into the stream in my koi pond and the cool water from the stream always washes just um, a half inch over the bottom of the pot to keep their roots cool but the white being reflective really helps them keep them cool as well. On the other hand the Sarancenias like here they are in black pots and these ones I have cut back for the winter time. The pictures were starting to look kind of ratty on them. So instead of having them getting crushed with snow and falling left and right and that, I thought it better just to cut them off while, while they're dormant. And if you look up here, we have got Saracenia flower buds for the first time ever on my plants. I've had these probably for three winters now and I guess when I bought them they were small so they, the plant doesn't flower until it's a few years old so I'm going to have flowers for the first time this year on several different varieties this one that um, is cut back here is a leucophila and this one here excuse me with my new tripod I am still getting used to it it might be a little bit shaky this one here is a Judith Hindle I left a few pitches on the Judith Hindle, they weren't too ratty, so, but most of those got cut off as well. And if you look right here, you can see that the Judith Hindle has a flower bud on as well. Let's see, what else do we got here? Excuse the light bulb, these guys um, for the most part are under lights as well as, um, there's the light on, that's the way it normally looks in here, so they have the compact fluorescent bulb just above them. This one is a cool Saracenia. It is called a Scarlet Bell. And it has sort of curved pictures on it, so they're kind of neat. Get a shot. This one I've only had since last year, so it's one of my newer Saracenias. There's probably five or six plants in it. There's a propria there. I'm hoping that it's going to flower this year, although I'm not seeing any buds, so it may be next year that those two flower. Keep in mind, these are last year's pictures, so they're looking a little ratty as well. Um, before I brought them in the greenhouse, which I just brought them in in the middle of February, they spent all winter outside, so although Vancouver Island isn't the coldest place, we did have temperatures down to minus two or three a couple nights this winter and we did have a few wet snowfalls um, and they got plenty of frost and a few times they were frozen if we look right in here this is a uh, Drosera rotundifolia it's just come out of dormancy there's actually two in there and the moss has taken over like crazy this year the moss wasn't there last year. So it's just starting to extend some bigger pictures out here. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of gooey. Uh, the goo is used to catch insects. 
actually call it an insect right in there, so it digests them right on the the palm of the the we're gonna call it a leaf. What else do I have for you here? Back there is my Venus fly traps. I'll bring those out front and I'll set them just right over here. One sec, you can look at that guy while I grab them. Alright, I'll just sort of sit in here for a second. These are my Venus fly traps. They do have a few adult pictures starting on them. Again, they were left outside. A lot of people don't know that Venus flytraps need a, a winter period. Um, so these guys, again, late October, or November, December, January into February, had frost and freezing temperatures. So, But they're getting a few new adult pictures on them now. And being the red inside is a good sign. That means um, it has enough light where they are. If they didn't have enough light, they'd be green. Last year, these guys, they threw up a few flowers. And I was always under the impression that if you let the flower bloom, the plant was going to die. But I think this year I'm going to let the flowers bloom and try to collect some seeds from it. And since these ones here have um, flowers coming on them as well, I think I'm going to try to pollinate these flowers and collect some Saracenia seeds. I have a few different... Um, plants over here so I'm not going to um, try to self pollinate. There's another bloom coming up on that plant over there. So yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to pollinate Venus flytrap flowers or Serencidia flowers, I would love to hear your tips and tricks. Anyways, that is a winter carnivorous plant update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please um, subscribe to the channel and see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.